Okay, so Bear Cave Pro sent a message in the comments asking what process I use to break down my comic book scenes. So let's answer that. But before we do, we kind of need to have to rewind. Okay, so before we've even got to the you know pen to paper or keys to screen stage of actually writing our comic and writing our scenes, we need to go all the way back to our plot before we've even got there. And the reason for this is the plot is the most important part of the writing process. In my opinion, again, this is just my opinion. There are other people that have different ways of writing comics. This is just my way of doing it. And what I mean by this is the plot is going to be your roadmap to your story. So using you know an analogy, you know if I was going to drive from where I live just outside London up to Scotland you know I could pretty much do that I'm gonna go north and that's how I'm gonna get there but if I don't plan my journey of how I'm gonna get there I'm gonna wing it and I'm gonna go here there and everywhere that journey is gonna take me a lot longer where it could be quicker more efficient and that's how you need to think about your plot and how you need to think about your scene so before I've even got to actually the writing stage of my comic I've been thinking about my plot for a good long time so when I get to this stage and I open this word document on the screen that you can see now I know the beats of the story of where each scene is going to go so in this document and again you know this is in the description where you can download a link to it you know it lets you know where the pages are and what's also important where the page turns are. and I'm going to get onto that a little bit later but what I do is I usually put the beats of the story in this document so I'll put you know this happens and then this happens and then this happens but you know what if I'm plotting and I don't have the entire story worked out then and there and I have some blanks in there that's not a problem as well but at least I'm plotting of where I am and where I need to go so this is the first part of plotting your comic before you write your scenes you need to put your scenes into a plotting document to work out where you start and where you go and from there we go to the next stage okay so once i've put the beats of my story in my plotting document that i showed you before i usually have a look at this document now i've put this out on you know twitter and stuff like loads of times and what this actual jpeg shows it shows you where your page turns of your story are and the reason why this is important is because you need to make sure you know especially if you're a new writer and you don't know where your page turns are it stops you from putting like a double page spread on a page turn which i see so often in new comic book scripts also, the good thing about knowing where your page turns are is it lets you put all your shocks, your twists and your reveals on a page turn so they have more of an impact. But like I said, I've got an Excel spreadsheet version that I use and I'm going to show you that now. OK, so this is the Excel version of that JPEG that I just showed you. And the reason why I use it is one, it lets me know where my scene breakdowns are and it shows me, you know, make sure that I'm not rushing or dragging my scenes like I showed in a video a couple of weeks ago. But it lets me know that, you know, how many scenes I'm going to have in that comic. So when I'm planning to write those scenes, I know what I need to write. And what I do here is I look at, you know, I've got scene one, two, three, four and five, because that's all a comic actually needs. It needs five to seven scenes. If you've got eight or nine scenes in your comic, you know that you are rushing. So usually I use this document. And as you can see in the columns that are J and K, normally what I do is I actually put what physically happens on those pages. So when I come to write in those scenes, I know the beats of that story within that scene that I'm going to do. But this also lets me know where my page turns are. So I don't, you know, again, do the double page spreads or I don't put my reveals in the wrong places. So this is the actual breakdown of the new comic that I'm writing at the moment. Now, so as you can see, scene one has five pages in it. Scene two has seven. Scene three has five. Scene four has four. And then the final scene with a big twist and the reel at the end only has three. So that's how I set my pages up, my script up and my plot up before I've got to my script writing stage of actually writing my physical comic and writing those individual scenes that I do. So once you've done all that and you're getting ready to you know, sit down and write your script because you've plotted out your scenes of how they're going to go, the first question you need to ask yourself is, does this scene push the narrative forward? If this scene does not help you get from A to Z in your story and has no meaning, you need to remove it because there's no point in putting something in just because it's cool and you want to put it in there if it's not driving the narrative forward. It doesn't matter if you're writing a comic or writing a novel or writing a film. If you are not giving a reason for that audience to engage with it and in a comics case to turn that page, there is no point of that scene being there. So every scene in your comic needs to push that narrative forward which leads us into what is the purpose of that scene that you're writing because as with the previous comment about pushing the narrative forward 
if there is no purpose to that scene and you don't know for the reason why it's actually in your script, then it's not working because scene needs to give X amount of information to the reader to push that narrative forward. And as I said in last week's video, there is no point at the end of your story having a deus ex machina coming to save the day if you haven't sown the seeds of that throughout your story. So if that scene doesn't have a purpose, you need to rework it and give it some purpose. So when you start to write your scenes, you need to make sure that every scene that you're writing has a beginning, middle and an end. But the important thing to remember is you don't have to show the scene in its entirety. You can jump in at any point of that scene and end as long as you've got that information from that scene that pushes the narrative forward. So a great example of this is if you've got a couple that's arguing, you don't need to jump in right at the beginning of that argument where they're sitting there winding each other up. Then someone says something, so the argument escalates. You could jump in that argument mid-argument mid and then finish it just after that information that you need that you've extracted from. You can cut the scene off there because that's all you need. And what that will do is that will stop you from going very, very long with your scenes or very, very short. Just get the information that you need from each scene and then stop it. Just to make sure there's a beginning, middle and an end that helps to push that narrative forward. Also, when you are writing a new scene, if that new scene is in a different location and with you know a different time of day or a different year, different time zone, different world, where, you know, with new characters, you need to describe them in the first panel of that scene. Because I've said this before on the channel, if you do not put these elements in your script and your artist collaborator does not know to draw them, you can't get angry with them for not drawing them. So if it is a new scene and you're changing where you are or what you're doing, you need to describe it in the first panel of that scene and tell the artist what's happening. And lastly, I'm gonna re-emphasize this yet again, you need to know where your page turns are because again, the amount of scripts I read from new writers and they put a double page spread on a page turn is absolutely shocking. And you need to avoid that at all costs. Also, the amount of times I see a new writer waste the opportunity to put a twist, a shock, a reveal on that page turn breaks my heart because if you know where they are, page turns are the best device a comic book writer has in their arsenal to use. So if you know them, you can use them to your advantage and you can manipulate your reader and get them hooked on your stories. Okay, so use the documents that I've linked in the description to help you. Hopefully you found that interesting. Hopefully that has helped. If it has, give me a like, share, and a subscribe. I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.